Hello everybody, good morning. Ah, uh, this is not a video about my weight loss. Instead, when I got home from California, I found this. It was this mysterious box sitting on my dresser and my parents had no idea what it was. I'm gonna open it and show you. And I didn't either, and so I opened it because my name was on it, and it was this. <laughs> Something with Japanese writing. And I still didn't know what it was. Um, I knew who ordered it because it said on the front of the box. I'm going to try to take this out while talking. Um, so I nosed around, asked some questions, and found out. And my friend said, it's out of this world. And it's for you. So I had a little surprise. So I'm going to take all the parts apart. Um, the interesting thing is that all of the instructions are in Japanese. Every, or some kind of language. I'm assuming it's Japanese. So my friend was able to get me a um, PDF file in English on how to put it together. So I'm going to show you my cool thing and I'm going to let you follow me put it together. So I'll be back. I am back and the thing is called the Ultimate Pinhole Planetarium. I believe it's by Gaiken. And I set out all the pieces. See, we've got this and this. I set them all out to try to look like that right there. All right, now we're going to try to put it together. All right, step one, we need these two parts right here. This one's called the bulb socket. This one's called shaft B, and shaft B has this longer middle part here. It says to pull out these lead wires inside. Let me see, I'll use the screwdriver. Let's see if I can't get it out with this. And it says to be careful not to pull it too far that you snap the wires. So, and it looks like what we do is slide it just in here. Like, oh, this way. Step one complete. Okay, for step two, you need this part that we just did and two little screws and the other side of that shaft, which is called shaft A. And we're gonna put that together. So this wire, it shows it coming around this way. I don't know if that matters. And then you stick this over the top and you put the screws in. You gotta find, I don't know the difference between plus and minus. The plus, <laughs> which I'm sure is called Phillips head maybe or something, but I like to call it plus. All right, so let's see, they go through this way. And we just screw those little babies in there. Hopefully you can still see. Step three, we've got this all together. Step three, we're gonna put these pieces together. So we need this piece here. We need um, column A and column B, and the screw and the nut and that. So we take column A, which is the part right here that has the rounded, so not doesn't have the niche. So column A goes like this. This part goes with the two, the three dots up, just like that. And you wanna make sure this is sticking out here. Then we take this screw and we put it up through there, just like that. Next, we're gonna put this part on. This is the one that has the niche right here. And you put it through that hole. And you want these to go together. So, there we go. Pull those together, keep that screw in there. Next, you put the nut knob on. That's this little piece right here. And then you put the nut on. And you can turn it with this nut knob. It's kind of cool. 
You just turn the nut knob and it turns the nut. Pretty genius. And then pretty soon you have a nut. Um, it does say not to catch the wires in there. It says that'll open a little, but that's okay. And I already put the sticker on. That's this step also. You put that sticker on, that latitude one. Um, and the 90 gets in line with the, it says to latitude sticker on so that the 90 line aligns with the perpendicular of the column. I already did that in the earlier, earlier so. All right, so there's step three. Step four, section say, put on the time sticker so that the 18 line, oh, whoops, time. Wrong one. Time sticker. The 18 line comes to the arrow mark. Now the arrow mark is right here. And it appears the time sticker goes right where the arrow line is. So, it says put on the left part around first and then the right part around next and then cut it at the dotted line to join. So right here is 18, right here where my thumb is, is 18 and it goes right here at this arrow mark, which is right above your, um, the 90 degree thing. So I put the 18 on the arrow And it says wrap the left part first. So I did that. And then the right part. Be careful to actually keep it on the thing. And then you cut on the dotted line. I have no scissors. All right, so I've got it on. I got the 18 right here where that arrow was. And then I wrapped the left and I wrapped it around, cut on the dotted line and the zero and the 23 kind of connect right there. Step four complete. All right, now we're going to put the month sticker on the base. Um, if you notice, the base has a little tiny notch right here. Oops, right there. It's a little teeny notch. That's what you're gonna use. Um, it says bring the arrow mark at the three on the month sticker to the notch. So I've got my three here and there's a little arrow and it's gonna go to the notch, but I can't tell. Looks like I put it on this way, upside down kind of. Hopefully that's right. <laughs> Cause that's the way it appears. The arrow goes to the notch. So I'm gonna put this on like that. Let's lift the, put the left part around first, and then the right part. Oh, I should have kept my scissors. And then we cut it at the dotted line, so I'll be back. I gotta get my scissors again. Apparently I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was. So here we've got the sticker on now on this part. I cut it, and the three and the arrow is at the notch, and then it goes around. So this piece is done. This piece and this piece are done. All right, step six, assembling the base. So for this step, we take this little switch right here. It's the thing that has the notch in it. And it says to put it into the base. And you want it to point to, so switch the, set the switch to the off position and hold it. So I have it there in the off position. I'm gonna hold it in the off position and turn it over. It says don't let the switch go. Now you're gonna stick these parts in. So. Uh, this part here, it's this um, piece that's called the it's called the slide switch. The slide switch just slides right in here, in between here, da, da, da. just like that. It sets right in there. You'll see how it kind of sets. So you put the slide switch in. You want it to be pointed. Um, if you have the battery compartment up at the top, you want the switch downward. Hopefully you can see this okay. Um, I still have it in the off position. It's hard to hold it and move things and keep it in there. 
Next you put this little piece on. This piece is called the switch catch. Um, and you want to put this, um, see how it has a part that sticks up? That part's gonna go down and that's gonna actually connect to your switch that's sticking out. You may have to kind of push it down a little to make it stay there. So I got it on and you want it to hook around that switch catch there. And you're gonna put a screw in that. So we put a little screw down in there. Um, I believe it says not to do it too tight. Fasten the switch catch with a screw, then fasten this, the collar with screws. Um, and it says, do not screw it too tight. So this one goes in there. And then you put the, switch, the screws with the collars go right in here, and these are gonna hold that, um, the piece that's called the slide switch in. So I'm just gonna screw those in real quick. one the other one goes right in that hole nice and tight so now when I do this it clicks click click so my on off switch works yay all right that was number seven okay for this part we need this little battery compartment or battery contact thing it's got the springy on it so we insert battery contact so we've got it sitting this way and it looks like battery contact into the battery box. So we've got all these different things. I don't plug this in yet. So the pieces we want are these pieces. One has a spring, that's the first one we're gonna attach, and one has this. So the spring one looks like it goes in this slot right here. The flat part goes down. Man, that hurts. There it goes. Okay, and then we do the other part, and the flat, the little bubble part, but not the spring, and again, the flat part goes down. If you have nails, it really helps. All right, so we got the spring part there, and we've got this part right here, and then the other part we're gonna put in is this part right here. Um, it goes on this end over here, and you want it like this. The spring is going to go on this side and that thing goes down like that through that middle part. Whew, that thing hurts. Time I wish I had nails. I think I did it right. Okay, step eight. It says the battery contacts are thin. Apply something such as a piece of cloth when pushing these to avoid cutting your fingers. Oh, <laughs> so there you go. Apply a piece of cloth without cutting your fingers. I just push down. Nails work really good too. It says you can use a piece of cloth. That's step eight. Uh, next step nine, you're gonna attach the battery stopper, which is this piece right here and it's going to go on, oops, you put it in this way. If you have the switch down to the bottom and the battery stopper on this side, this goes on the um, part that has the bump that sticks up, it goes right there in the middle, and then it'll click in place. And you just put the screws in, two of these collared screws, I'll hold that in place. So one goes in the middle there. Hopefully the lighting is better too. I brought a lamp over. And this one goes in. <laughs> the screws have been giving me problems all day today. Okay. 
All right, so there's the battery cover, the battery stopper. Next, we're going to attach the pedestal, which is this, to the base. So if you put your base down and you have, there's your switch, just like that. The pedestal is going to go in. Um, there's, as you can see, there's two holes there and two holes there. So you wanna find down here, there's two things sticking out and two things sticking out here. First, you take this piece and you stick it in this big round hole. And then you're gonna line up these two and those two with all of those. And you may have to kinda push it together a little to make it fit. And it just snaps down in there like that. So now this piece is sticking out. So we got that in. Um, now it says to turn over the base and fasten it with your two screws with a collar. So one goes right here and one goes right there. I'll put this one in first. And then move these little things out of the way and the other one goes right in there. We got our screws in. Number 12 says to connect these two pieces right here. And I don't know if it matters, but I know it works if I take the side that has the red <laughs> and the black, if I put the red to the red. And I don't, like I said, I'm not an engineer. I don't know if it works. I just know when I did it last time it did. And you put them together like that and it says to um, connect them firmly. So I push them in. Next it says to put in the A batteries because we're gonna test it. So um, you probably know this already, but the springy side is the side where the flat side of the battery goes. And then you put your little cover back over. That was step 13. Step 14, we stick the screw, the light bulb in. They give us this little teeny light bulb and they give you two, which is nice. You stick it in there and it says, don't tighten it too tightly. And now we're gonna test it by turning our switch on. It works. And that was step 14. So next is step 15. Okay, now we're gonna do steps 15 through 22. And that is the globy part. Um, step 15 and step 16 I already did. 15 is simply folding these right here. Um, it tells you to take all of them and fold them in and then fold them out like that several times just so they're ready to be uh, to work so they're not hard to work with so they say um, it says to fold them towards the, the one side is kind of shiny and the other side is a little bit dull that one has a protective film so they say to fold it towards the shiny side the darker black shiny side first and then fold it the other way and do that several times so they're nice and flexible and then 16 it has a picture and you can go back and for I think I'm gonna put it at the end so you can fast forward to the pictures if you want and they lay them out they tell you to take this one that only has two um, one two three four five of gongs or I don't know what they are anyways the one that has two this one um, this one doesn't get any of these little stickers we're gonna put these stickers on next they come on this sheet and um, they're double-sided and you want to be really careful because I learned that you cannot take them off once they're on so you want to be try to be careful to put them in the right place first so the first one they list is this one and this one has none on it um, we are going to be putting the stickers on the glossy shiny side not the side with the protective film that's kind of dull so you want you're going to have the side up um, all the letters will be backwards if you look at them um, from the shiny side so right now you want to put all the pieces with all the shiny side up, which is where all the letters will be backwards to you. So this piece gets none. The next piece they show is um, this piece here. And this piece has two sides that don't have any flexible pieces. As you can see from mine, they tell you to put them on um, these letters. Letter E, F, J, I, H, and K. I just realized I might have lifted 
them too high, you couldn't see. So again, we have E, F, J, I, H, and K on the glossy side. So you put stickers on there. They say to line the sticker up with this um, the crease right there. And you'll just have to find what works for you. It took me till the last one to get it right. <laughs> so, so those pieces you put the stickers on. I did these ahead of time because I didn't think you'd want to watch me. So on that piece you do those. Um, the next piece they show is this piece right here. And on this piece it has the three sides that don't have any folds on it. And you put stickers on all of those pieces. And those letters are A, uh, it looks like A, L, M, N, O, D, C, and B. And then the last piece is this piece here that has all flaps around it and then it's three of them. And on this one you only do these pieces. Um, they are letter P, Q, R, and it looks like maybe G. So these pieces here. And again, you can see the letters. Yeah, G, R, Q, and P that you put the stickies on. So maybe pause the video and put your stickers on and then we'll start on the next step. So the next step says adhere the stellar sheets together. Put the parts of the same letters together so that the letters can be read from the outside. First start with the A, B, C order for easy procedure, then find the parts that can be easily stuck together. So first we're gonna do A, B, and C. And um, if you look on the picture, it shows you that you want to fold the flaps up. So let's find A's. Uh, here's an A right here. See, there's an A. And let's find the other A. Here's the other A. So here's my A and my A. Um, we're going to be putting the... Looks like, okay, protective film. They show protective film on the outside. So I think it goes like this and like this. Because we want them to stick together and the little tabs are going to stick on the outside and then we'll cut them. So you want the protective side up. Hopefully you can see the ground in front of me too. I think you can. But um, here we've got letter A, and you fold it up towards the protective side. And this one also towards the protective side. And they recommend that you do it like that, stand them up, and we are going to take this off. So you peel off this white thing, and they're still sticky in there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they're still sticky. So now we're gonna take A and A, and we're gonna put them together. I was on a flat table, it'd be way better, but this will have to work. So we want to make them as perfect as possible. Did it. They're, they're together. And then you just press these together and make them stick. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's the letter A and the letter A. So the A's are done. Let's see if we can find B. Okay, here's B. And here's B. So again, we fold them up, up towards the protective side, like that, and we tear it off. Click up. And we've got B and B. I think it's easier if I take them and I try to put them together like I guess not on this one. So you want the bottoms together. Even as possible. It's not the easiest task. And we stick them together. So there. Now I've got B and B. So we'll do C and C. And then I'm going to do them all and show you what it looks like finished so you don't have to watch me do all of them. I imagine that would get fairly boring. So that's not coming off very easy, so let's try the other side. I'm trying to grab it. If you have fingernails, it's going to be a lot easier for you. 
I do not have fingernails. All right. So pulled off my C. Got my C and C. We're gonna stick those together. Hold them tight. Press them down. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of the letters and get them together and show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, so now I've got my little globe all stickered together. Um, and I also cut them off. They said to cut them about five millimeters or halfway. So I cut all these little pieces and it's all ready to go. There's my hole. Um, so the next step is step 20. Uh, Cause step 16, 17, 18, and 19 were just showing us how to stick those on and telling us to cut it. So step 20 is now where we're going to put these two pieces together, the globe and this. Um, if you look inside of your globe, one of them has a triangle. So you want to find that triangle because that triangle says you're going to line up with the three month sticker right there. So you find your three month sticker and it's got a triangle too and you're going to want to line those up. So you take your globe and you need this to point outward so you're going to kind of tilt it and slide this in there and then it's going to come out. So I'm going to find my three and my triangle. All right, my triangle is right here on this side. So let's find my three. Here's my three. So it's going to go on that side. There's these little hooks right here on this piece. There's these hooks. These hooks are going to be what holds your um, globe together. So you want to pull it out and those are all going to hook on there. And it should hold it together. Um, they said if you have trouble with it, you can put the sticker on. I'm not going to do that just yet because I want to avoid it if possible. So I've got it and all the hooks are on the outside. So see, it's staying in there. Pretty cool. All right, so that's step 20. Step 21 is putting it together. Set the assembled thing on the pedestal. So here we've got our pedestal and it just says set it on. So I'm assuming that you're gonna twist it for whatever month, day, year it is. So here we've got our, and then you turn it depending on the month and the day and the year. That's pretty awesome. See the little stickers all match up so like Today is October something. I would go to October and put it to October 20th or whatever it is. It's all set. Yay. I might have had it too high. So there's our thing. And then um, last thing is to peel off all this protective stuff. Um, so I'm going to do that. You don't need to watch me do it. But all the outside has that protective stickers on there. And you're supposed to peel those off. Um, they did say if it's difficult to peel off the protective film, put scotch tape at the rim of the stellar globe and peel off the tape and the protective film together. So um, that's on that paper. And then it tells you how to project the stars. And I'm going to do this tonight and add it to the end of the video so you can see what it looks like. Yay! Thank you, friend, for this wonderful gift. Bye. So here is the globey thing. And this is what it does on your wall and your ceiling everywhere. Pretty stinking awesome. What an awesome gift. Bye.